Hello, I am Sentimus Prime, and here I will be reviewing a bootleg of the Lego Star Wars Ultra Build Finn. Now, before I start, I would like to again mention that this is indeed a bootleg, which means like not officially made by Lego. This is like a strip a straight copy of a, a of a ultra build set from like 2016 so that so i will be like so i will be reviewing like the set itself but I, but i will also be reviewing like comparing like how these bootleg parts are compared to the official ones to the official set, if that makes any sense. So start, so now we can start. And first and foremost, I think we should start off with the head. Now the head, while seemingly doesn't look all too different from the official one, I do notice a couple of subtle, of more subtle differences and then one like really big difference when it comes to the head alone. So starting, I don't have the official one to compare to, but I have like closely examined both heads. And first of all, I will, I will say that compared to the official one, the like texture on his hair is not really done as well as on the official one. Another difference is I see on the bootleg, I see this like line straight down the middle of his face. Now the official one doesn't really have that or at least not as prominent. And I do notice that his face is slightly shinier than the official one. Do slightly notice that, notice that subtlety. But something that is not subtle is when we take off the head and see the connection that the socket connection that it's using. Now, it seemingly doesn't look like too out of place, especially compared, especially like how it's like hidden in in the head. But compared to the official one, didn't have a socket joint like this. The official one had a socket joint that is more, that is similar to this socket joint on this uh, Hero Factory 2.0 head. Where it's like, like this, where it's, where it's slightly more rounded and it, and it, and the sockets are like side by side, not front to back. Uh, like the official one had this sort of connection, but in brown, it had this sort of sockets. This one, whereas the bootleg, it appears to be using something similar to a Chima Ultra build. Now it's not the exact same, but it is similar even down to the screw down the middle. It's using something similar to that. And that's just the head alone. And I will talk about and I will talk about how differently the head how differently the articulation is in a minute. But I, another difference that I've noticed is that on this chest plate where on the fifth where compared, where on its own, it doesn't really look that bad. I mean, it's, the printing on here is, like, okay enough on its own. However, like, like, comparing this to the official one, you do notice that, like, some of the printing is, like, slightly off, such as uh, this layer or this layer. But it honestly is not that noticeable to me because, like, to be on, like, in my opinion, like, this sort of chest plate, like, looks bad to begin with. 
purely based on the fact that the like all this like like dark tan color like like a uh, like wet sand color is supposed to be like Poe Dameron's jacket. It's supposed to be like a clothing. Here's the thing. It does not look too great on him. I mean, the art, I mean, the jacket's all broken up. The printing here, where it's co supposed to convey that this is supposed to be like the shirt and the jacket's like, like layered over, it really doesn't look too great. And then we have the coattails, which uh, which kind of do get in the way. But these are like problems that I have with, with like the set itself. Not really as far as the bootlegs are. But then we get to the lightsaber blade. Where compared, the official lightsaber blade is, is a really cool piece. It's like super cool. It's like... It's done like in in a similar blue, blue to this, but it was like super translucent and light can go through it like pretty easily. The, whereas this piece, it is slightly more, uh, it is slightly more like done, it's done up in like the slightly more like frosted color. So light, so you can't like fully see through it. But not only that, what you can see through here is all of these bubbles that are basically go going all the way through the blade. Like, let's see if you can see that. Like, the bubbles are, like, going, like, all the way up to here. The, the official lightsabers are at least a little bit, are at least, they at least don't have that many bubbles. I don't know how many bubbles that these lightsaber blades normally get, but not that many. Now, now then we move on to his gun. And his gun is done up where sets-wise... It, the gun is done up in this really nice build. It, I honestly do kind of like it, how compact it is. And the parts and the parts here don't feel that bad. Uh, the spring mechanism, while while looks very different compared to the official piece, and I'll show that off in a second. I'm actually gonna fire this off. To show you how powerful it is, it it's a bootleg piece, and it's honestly not, it honestly still ha, it honestly has a good kick to it. Now taking off the piece and comparing it to that, you can see that it's been done very differently. But overall, it pretty much works the same way. Like, it's pretty cool. And the bullets, as far as the bullets, the, the ammunition, as far as I can tell, is pretty much, is pretty much identical to, is Pretty much uh, spot on to the official parts. This part up here, not only this Baraki eye up here, not only is it been like, not only is it also uh, kind of frosted like the lightsaber, kind of like the lightsaber, which kind of makes me think it's like dirty in a way. But not only that, but the official version of the set had this Baraki eye in a different color. It was like a slightly lighter shade of blue from what I could tell. It's like a slightly rarer shade of blue. Like, in, 
but overall it's not overall it's not that bad it's the and the build of the gun is pretty cool like the triggers right like here and you can fire it pretty easily and the even the bootleg version of this part fires pretty well very cool now back to like the set it does have this gear function this gear function right here which is made to like swing his arm around much kind of similar to like a toa mata like by how that's done or or um or closer comparison of uh, the 20 the 2015 to a uh, masters the 2015 to a master sets had had something had something like similar to this the function the bootleg the bootleg parts it's the like there are places where it can hold up pretty well, but it the connection they like it can be kind of wobbly. And something I have done is I took out this blue Technic pin and swapped out with a official version of this same piece. And now the part is at least holding up a little bit better. So yeah, these uh, parts are slightly weaker, but can hold uh, friction. But do does have a little bit of friction, so you kind of like swing it around, and now now it has enough friction to hold his arm up. Articulation, he has all... Moving on to the articulation, he has all these ball joints. So he has a good range of mo motion. But talking about, like, some of the articulation, like the head, due to the previously mentioned uh, different sockets, he has some strange articulation when it comes to his head. See, he has, like, no up, barely any down, he can still move. He can still turn his head around, but mo <laughs> But he his head can also do, can also tilt side to side like this. Is that kind of funny? Whereas on the connection that his head is supposed to have, I know that looks dumb, but he, but hear me out. He he can look up. He could, in theory, look up a bit more, look down a little bit more if his chin doesn't go in the way, in the way, and a little, and like, a, kind of hindered, but can still do a little bit of side to side. That's like the articulation of the, like, official one. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I'm going to leave it like that. His coattails are kind of annoying. You see, it's on like this armature of hinges on top of this ball joint, which is pretty annoying to me. But don't worry, I have I actually have a little fix for this. See, if I take this off, I take this take these parts, rotate this part, rotate this part around, connect it like so, boom, and boom, and then connect, then line it up, and then connect this panel back on, Making sure that everything's lined up nicely. Now we have that locked in place. And as for the coattails, what I like to do is I would like to flip them up or 
or have them in some sort of way so that they actually fill in these gaps. That is what I do with the coattails. And I do think that does at least make it more filled in. Although it doesn't really matter for me because I'm going to be taking this apart for parts. Yeah, it really doesn't, again, it doesn't really matter for me because I'm going to be, like, taking this, I'm going to be, like, disassembling it for parts anyway. Speaking of parts, how about we talk about the tolerances of the parts and, the, and their compatibility? So, starting off with their color, with the colors. The colors... Here, here's the official Lego color, some of the official Lego colors, and comparing the colors, this, this like a wet sand color, I do notice a slight difference when it comes to this color, but it, it's close. But it's honestly close enough to the real thing. And also the brown, again, is slightly different. It's like a slightly, like this, the brown on here is slightly redder than the brown, than the official brown. But again, it's close enough that it's not really, that, that is not really a big deal. Now bringing in, and now testing their compatibility, I'll be bringing in a random CCBS build using all official parts to s test out the compatibility. So, now tolerances, some of the parts can be, can be tight while some parts can be loose. I do so the armor can easily work f for the for the official bones. That's that's pretty that's fine and dandy. The armor attachments can wor can work for the CCPS armor pieces. Boom. Bring that back. Take out the lightsaber bar. Put it in this guy's hand. And that fits in pretty... It fits in a little snug, but it has no real problem with holding the lightsaber blade. Now as for the bones, the bones fit on pretty nicely. All nice and dandy. So overall, he does have pretty good com his compat he is compatible with your official hero factory stuff hero factory parts which is pretty good pretty good considering that I'll be using him for parts very nice oh one more thing I'll be testing out this piece so I'll be putting it on the official axle and again fits nicely. Again, there are some areas where the tolerances can be like a little tight, such as like some of the armor. But none of it's like too bad. 
Very nice. Again, articulation is pretty good, and he has like all these ball joints everywhere. So he is pretty good with articulation. However, I will, again, talk about the set. I will say that ha the way that he's built, like the way that his like skeleton's been built, it does make him a little bit disproportionate. Like, you see that, like, compared to his torso and legs, his arms look so, look really puny compared to the rest of his body. And that's, like, and I know that the arms are supposed to be, like, longer because I know that, like, his, his like, fists, that his fists are, like, supposed to, like, go down farther down his legs than than this it's it's it does feel a little off to me especially with the arms everything else is nice and is decently decent enough when it comes to proportions but the arms are incredibly like very short compared to the rest of him you know And now it's time, and with that said, it is now time for size comparisons. So, for size comparisons, there's not going to be a whole lot. So, here he is next to my custom painted Siege Sentimus Prime. So, you can see that he is quite a bit taller compared to that of a Transformers Voyager class figure. And for a Hero Factory comparison, here he is next here he is next to my custom Hero Factory build. I'm like using like these using like the standard uh breakout and brain attack proportions for a hero for a hero factory hero using like the standard breakout and brain attack proportions and you can see that he is even a fair bit taller than a hero factory here than one of these heroes He is very tall. And one more thing I would like to add. That his arms are the same length as this guy's arms. Who is way shorter. But his arm. But his arms aren't. Don't look small on him. Like his arms go down the right length. They're supposed to like. Almost reach down to your knees, but not quite like that. Whereas this guy's fists are at his hips, and that just looks very off to me. So, overall, overall thoughts. I do like, I do like him. I do think he's alright. Like the gear fun function is kind of, is kind of cool, but that's been like around way long before this guy's been around. He, and again, he, this set does have its flaws. It's like the. Like, the way that they built the jacket and, like, how unnatural it look He, like, this build, like, looks, for considering that he's supposed to be a human. And yet, they, and yet there, he has, like, these issues, like, disproportionate arms and, like, a jacket that looks more like armor. 
because it's basically designed to be armor, not a jacket. The lightsaber is pretty cool, though, even though it has, like, it's bubbling and it's, like, frosted, like, <laughs> issues. And the parts are overall nice and compatible. And really good. And the parts here don't feel too bad. Like, they, I don't... I don't feel like anything's go any of these parts are going to break on me. It's very... The, uh, so, going... So, for the set, overall, I think it's okay. The boot... As far as the bootleg parts go... I say it's I say it's do it's doing all right. I say it's doing all right. Again, it has its flaws compared to to the official part to the official parts, but again, they're not do the set ain't doing too bad. The parts ain't doing too bad. And I feel and I can definitely use these parts to make other CCPS mocks. Very, very cool. So overall, I do like him, and he, and he does have interesting parts. And then, uh, and after this video, I'm going to take him apart for those parts. Let's see what I can do with those. And I think that'll be it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to like and subscribe, and maybe even comment if you want. And of course, I will be posting again sooner or later.